Waiting for those big girls though. This is how it's done. You're getting too cocky over here. This lake gets more fishing pressure per acre, I think, than any other lake in the country. Oh, that's a big one. All right, guys, I'm in Fulton County's Holy Grail Strip Mine Ponds with Mike Hitchcock. He traded his son for this pond. It's what, Lake X. We're gonna Lake catch X. some big old bass. Oh yeah, good sign. Oh, that's a big one. Keep your line tight. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Pull up, oh, you got a nice fish. <laughs> we found the bass. <laughs> We found it. Oh, nice height. Keep it tight. Ooh, I think I'm dipping. No, no. Okay. Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, baby. Talk about a fish. Nice one. I can't tell. Nice fish. This is the fat lady. There it is. Oh, my. There's how it's done, guys. We gotta weigh this right, guy. Right there it is. We gotta weigh him. There it is. That's the big fat lady. Bam. You can tell how fat they are. They're getting ready to spawn. Oh, my goodness. Look at the mouth on him. Oh, nice fish. This is a nice fish. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. You're getting too cocky over here. That's my girl. Sonny, we got a double. Oh, shh. We got a double. Hey! Nice one, too! We got a nice, we got a nice one. Look at that. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Check that out! Holy crap! Look at him, look at his wound marks too! Yes sir, look at that! We got some big Two ladies! Two fat ladies there! Two fat ladies! Woo! Pre-spawn, you can tell their bellies are full and the water temperature isn't just right. It needs to warm up a little bit. 62 degrees is the hot spot. And then they'll be up against the bank laying their eggs and very aggressive when you go over their beds. They're gonna come right after you. We're not there just yet, but you can tell we're definitely almost there. They're getting aggressive. Bellies are full. I am the bass master of the boat. <laughs> Heck yeah, look how fast she is. Biggest bass today. Woo! How big do you think she is? Six? Right. Five? Probably five and a half. Five and a half? To finish, Sydney. Oh, he's fighting like he's big. You got a big bass. Oh, I got one on. Oh! Oh! oh my oh, gosh! Double bass! Look at this double bass! Double big bass! Look at this bass! Oh, Look at this bass. Sydney, don't lose it. Oh! Oh! Big bass in <gasps> That's insane. Way to end the day. We're getting ready to come up. I was like, hey, let's just throw another, let's throw one more. <laughs> oh we got to go, Sydney. I just got off the phone with my friend Maggie Garcello, who is a big time angler up in Wisconsin. I told her so excitedly how I just caught my personal best largemouth bass here in central Illinois with my friend Mike Hitchcock. And I want to come into the gates firing away for episode one. So I asked her, what is the best place in the United States to go largemouth bass fishing? And she said, Lake Fork down in Texas. So I found James Kyle DeMeyer, who is one of the best guides down there, and he catches quality fish over quantity. He said to get our butts down there right away, and we will catch some big girls on beds. So Texas, I'll see you soon. <laughs>Maggie, myself, and the rest of the team just left the hotel room. We're kind of dragging our feet, but we are so excited for the first day of fishing on Lake Fork. Well, the record was out this lake, so get excited. Three, two. We finally made it to Lake Fork down here in Texas. I'm with Maggie Carcello, James uh, Calamire guide service down here and we are going to slay some big old bass. Best day of my life already. She's so excited. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. We're going a long ways. Buckle up, cupcake.
fish my first bed fish heck yeah I'm pretty pumped up my first fish at Lake Fork and this is unbelievable there's big fish everywhere and you know when they say that you're gonna see monster bass they weren't lying it was, yeah it's you like light, the badass it's videos of people like putting their sunglasses on and stuff mine would be as a guide it's a tremendous amount of pressure on a trophy fishery like this to produce big bass for your customers you know, they don't care about what you did yesterday or what you're going to do tomorrow. They care about what you're going to do today. As we headed to our first spot, James recommended that we flipped a Texas rig with a chigger craw on it for bed fishing. Your lips. I need to get a shirt made, made like that. Watch your lips. It's like winning goldfish at the fair. <laughs> As we burn up the shoreline, we saw a ton of fish of a caliber we're not used to. But in the back of our minds, we were still waiting for that Lake Fork giant we wouldn't forget. That is insane. Giant. Absolute giant right there, guys. Oh my gosh. We're gonna do this. Get her. Thank you! Get her up! Get her over here. Go, 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 go. Bring her back. Bring her back. Bring her back. Bring her back. I got her! Oh! <laughs> 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 Maggie! Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry for stressing everyone out. I couldn't. No, she got her! You got her! That's all that matters. You got her in the boat. Yeah, she's 24 and a quarter. 24 and a quarter. 24 and a quarter? <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. What did it measure, Maggie? 24. And a quarter. Oh my gosh, look at her. 888. Oh! <laughs> that a girl, Maggie. Give me some, James. Maggie. Nice. New PB. <laughs> Alright, guys, I just caught the Lake Fork Giant. Uh, we have her in the live bowl, keeping her healthy. Snapped a few really quick pictures, and we're gonna let her go right away. Uh, her bed is literally right here next to the boat where we caught her. Uh, so we want to get her back so she can dump some eggs on it and keep those big bass genetics in the lake, so we can catch more like this in the future. Let's get her back. Our trip to Texas was a success. Captain James Caldemeyer put us on the big bass we were looking for and taught us a thing or two about bed fishing. This definitely won't be our last time we fish Lake Fork. This is why we came to Lake Fork, folks. <laughs>